welcome to Creatively Rich. I am your host, Ann Tipton, here with Sarah Carter, who is a Rodan and Fields independent consultant. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me. Absolutely. I'm so excited to share with our viewers the amazing life that you have created for yourself as a consultant for this company. And you've done so amazingly well. And let's talk a little bit about your kids and how they kind of influenced your decision to leave life as you knew it with a job. Mm, wow. Gosh, there's so many things to be said about that. Um, so after I had my first, I um, went back to work full time. And the only thing I could think about was how in the world can I work from home and still bring in the same amount of money? And it seemed impossible. Um, and eventually I told my husband I was miserable and I needed to quit my job. Um, but then he was like, we just can't do this. We need the income. So I started my own private practice or I was in the middle of starting my own private practice and the opportunity came along. I did not have time for it, but I made some time and eventually I was able to kind of uh, phase out any work that I was doing um, in that and just completely be home and focus. I was still doing a little bit of home health after my second was born. Um, but as, as things kept growing, um, the income kept growing a little bit more and more, I was able to actually phase out all of the work outside of home um, by the time my youngest was about nine months old. So now I am strictly a stay-at-home mom, and I don't have to worry about leaving the house, which is great. That's amazing. And you also have uh, a child with some, some health issues, yeah? Um, I have a son who um, has high-functioning autism, uh, which does require a lot of time, lots of appointments, therapies, and um, it's kind of been a blessing in disguise because, you know, we didn't really know earlier when I started the business that this was coming. But um, now that we are kind of full blown into what's going on, it's been a lifesaver because I don't have to schedule appointments around work or worry if I have to be somewhere or if he's just having a really bad day. You know, I don't have to worry about calling a boss and saying, hey, I can't come in. So um, it's just been a really, really, wonderful thing for our family. Absolutely. And so one of the things that we talked about is um, your income kind of allowing you to go and shop the way you want to shop and do the things you want to do. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So, I mean, before, like when it was just, um, you know, I was hardly bringing anything in when I was not working. It was, it was tight. You know, I had to really kind of make a budget, really focus on like what I needed from the grocery, not really what I wanted. You know, if I needed or wanted a new outfit, new uh, pair of shoes, I had to really think about it. And now uh, it's to the point where, you know, something comes up and I'm like, I have nothing to wear. I can just go get something or, you know, I'm like, gosh, I really need some new shoes. I can go and, and buy a couple of pairs. So I don't have to feel guilty about buying myself or even my kids. Like the other day, um, I was like, gosh, Carson's long sleeve shirt inventory has gone to, you know what? Um, cause he just keeps growing. I mean, he grows and grows, and grows. So, I mean, I was like, well, I'll go online, and buy him some new shirts. So it wasn't a big deal. But beforehand, I would have really had to think about, you know, those purchases and, and how it would affect the family in general. But I think it's very comforting to my husband to know that there is that extra income coming in again um, once I stopped working. And it's just kind of a safety net in a sense because, you know, it's, it's just that extra, it's, it's like a cushion. and you know, if we really had to save it, we could, but it's just kind of one of those things where we can kind of, it's, I don't want to say easy money, but it's, it's flexible. 
it's, yeah. it's a flexible spending. Yeah. And that's, that feels really good when you've got that little bit of wiggle room or a lot of bit of wiggle room. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you want to take a vacation or gosh, your heating and air conditioning go out or, you know, you just, you never know what's going to happen. And so having that extra income really, really helps. Absolutely. So what would you say to somebody who's thinking about starting an opportunity, but is feeling held back for whatever reason? What would you, what advice would you give? Um, gosh, you know, I would say, um, go for it and listen to your mentors. They know what they're doing. Um, and I always tell people don't go into it with, um, unreasonable expectations. Things like this are not get rich quick. You don't just walk into it and start making a thousand dollars a month. You put in some time and you just keep going with it. And over time it keeps growing and eventually you are at a comfortable, um, income residual income that just keeps growing. And, um, it's really all about being open-minded and, you know, just trusting, um, the people that have been in the business before you, um, obviously they, they know what they're doing as well, but not everybody is walks in with the same kind of temperament, if that makes any sense. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Sarah, we'll link to your, uh, to your website in the comments. So if you want to get a hold of Sarah and see what, uh, what she's doing over with Rodan and Fields, it's pretty amazing stuff. Uh, if you can't tell her eyelashes are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Lash boost. Absolutely. Absolutely. I need to, I need to get some of that myself. Um, so <laughs> thank you, Sarah, so much for being on the show and, uh, yeah, thank you. Well, thank you, Anne.